doesn't even mean Bowers Game Corner. Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again for another episode of Skip the Rules, and today we're skipping the rules for Junior Blockus. This is for two players, ages 5+, plus, take about 15 minutes to play. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to play the 10 included mini games. Now, if your box looks different, don't worry, because the game plays the same in every single box. First thing you're going to want to do is put the board in the center of the table and split the colors up into two even piles. Pick a pile and pick who's going to go first, and now you're ready to start the game. The first player is going to take one of their pieces and they're going to play it on one of the starting spaces. Now they're kind of hard to see, but they're these little circles right there and right there. So the first player will pretend it's red and they can just place this piece right here and fit it in there so it fits nice and snug. Now player two is going to take one of their pieces and they're going to place it as long as it's touching the other starting space right there. Players are going to take turns laying down one piece at a time. Each new piece must touch at least one other piece of the same color, but only at the corners. Let me show you what I mean. This is not a legal play. This is a legal play because as you can see, they're touching the corners. Not a legal play. Totally legal play. Pieces of the same color can never, ever, ever touch on their sides. Not even if there's a fire. However, there are absolutely no restrictions on touching the other player's color. As you can see, this green and red are touching. Once you place a piece on the board, it cannot be moved. And eventually, what will happen is a player will not be able to play a piece. Because as you play the game, the board is going to get progressively more crowded, and it's going to become more difficult to put your pieces on. The game will eventually end when neither player can place any more pieces. Once the game ends, players count the number of squares in their remaining pieces. So, for instance, this would be one square, this would be two squares, this one would be with one, two, three, four, five squares. So right now, I would have a grand total of eight squares right here and a whole boatload of other squares down here. But whoever has the fewest number of squares remaining wins the game. But that's how to play Junior Blockus, the base game. If that helped you out, please give this video a like and let me know where in the world that I help you out because I find that sort of thing fascinating, helping people out from all over the world. But we're not quite done yet because we're going to take everything out of here. And now I'm going to show you how you can play the 10 included mini game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to find the one that has the one on it. And you're going to place it right inside of here. Now at the bottom of this green sheet, it's going to point out the green pieces that you're going to need to find and place right here. Now using the normal rules from the game that your pieces can't ever touch sides like so... You're going to try and place these two pieces in order to connect these two green pieces right here. When you figure it out, move on to the next mini game, which is on the back of this one, and then keep going up by the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10. If you ever get stuck, a solution for each mini game appears in the rule booklet, and you can check that if you need. Also, if you just want to see how this one works, I can show you exactly how it works right now, which is that piece would go here, and then this piece is right here. And in fact, the first one has this little hint here to help you along, but as you progress, there will be no hints. But that is how you play Junior Block Who. Go have some fun.